Now, in the path of self-realization, the question that comes into the mind, into this mind, is who am I? This I, me, is searching for himself or herself. Now, because the I, me, already believed that I am this body and the mind, now is looking for other things to identify himself with those. This I, me, is looking outside through the body, through, through its eyes and searching for things to add to himself or herself, to, to define himself or herself. So she is going out and looking out and says, okay, I am, I am my role. I am a mother. I am a wife. I am a sister and so on. So this I define itself by its roles. Or I am a doctor. I am a teacher. Or identify itself with what I have. This is my home. This is my car. This is my degree. And so on. So it would define itself with anything and everything outside of herself. This question has, starts in the heart of this person and it would bring her back eventually to the source. If the right, she finds, the, provides the right environment for the body and the path of self-realization is try to be by yourself in silence. In silence, all these thoughts eventually slows down and one would merge back to the source. Now, in the, in the meditation, there is meditation takes place in this body. In, originally, this I is claimed that I am meditating. However, after the fact that the, once the fact has been revealed, it will realize that there was even no I in here that was meditating. The meditation was taking place in here. So what we're going to do in, in these videos, we're going to try to find this absolute being that is here and now in this moment. The body we already know. We already touched, we already see, but this absolute being that is residing here as the truth and has always been here, that needs to be realized. And once that is realized in deep meditation, this I is going to be completely melt down into the I amness. So in this body, it's always there is this I as I am, exist as like just being. But this I am is not associated with any body or the mind or anything outside of that. So it would be just unassociated I amness as just beingness at in here and now exist. So that this I once it's discovered, this I would just completely melts down. It's like a drop gets in, back, drops into the ocean. And it's not even a drop, I shouldn't even say, because this, is, this wasn't even real. This was like an illusion. This was like a thought, just the illusion, was hanging in there and claiming that I am trying to find the truth, that who am I? The truth, this, this is a very good question for this I, but eventually, this I would melt down into the absolute. So in the next video, we're going to definitely try to feel this absolute and infinite I amness in here. So that realize that this is there. Now, try to understand, in, our, in this video, 
we are not going to go deep down necessarily, meditating very deep. Uh, this is just like going into the water as a diver, as a um, scuba diver, or just as a, someone who is snorkeling on the top of on the surface of the water. What we are try, trying to do in this meditation, we just do the snorkeling. In other words, once you put your head down into the water, you see the truth. You don't need to really deep, go deep down in to realize this I am this. Because that is here and now. So it is very um, simple. We're going to try to do that together. And once we realize this absolute being, which is the witness, which is here and now, is just the observer of the things, because the things, events, and everything, it comes and goes, and comes and goes. The truth, that truth never comes and goes. It doesn't come and go. It would always stays there as a open space of being. And it never comes and goes. You would realize it, you're going to discover that, and once we discover it, we're going to function consciously from that being now. It's not that that being is not functioning through this body yet. This function, this body, this I amness is functioning through the body of this person who has this idea in illusion. But this is unconscious. Unconsciously is doing that. It's like, in other words, this I amness is asleep. And it believes that belongs to this body and mind. But once the truth is revealed, this infinite absolute, it functions through this body consciously. And this being is going to live from this absolute being consciously. So I would uh, definitely we would explain a little bit more about that in the meditation. But at this time, I think we're going to stop that and we're going to go to the next video. Thank you so much, and I see you later.